The industry has had much attention in clinical trials for biosimilars within the past year, and we, Applied Clinical Trials, has had webcasts, podcasts, and articles on various aspects of biosimilar drug development. And what is a biosimilar but a generic biologic? The FDA does not have a regulatory guidance for biosimilars, however, and the EMA is much further along in its regulation of biosimilars. In an article written um, last year, July 2011, it noted that guidance should be forthcoming that year, but it did not, and that a key challenge for the FDA is to define interchangeability testing requirements and when switching studies will be required to meet that standard. It also noted in that article that Amgen Vice President Anthony Miers Lewis wants head-to-head -head studies to compare immunogenicity between reference and follow-on biotechnology products along with product labels that state a product's approved indications and whether the therapy is interchangeable for that indication. So there is a lot of debatable verbiage around the terminology, what is similar, highly similar, comparable, and interchangeable. And these nuances are not insignificant to the scientific community. However, they could be largely insignificant to the public. And this is only becoming clearer to me as the generic prescription drug arena in the U.S. has hit some kind of pothole with the regulatory, and that pothole is the FDA's own research into the efficacy of butapuron 300 milligrams, which is the generic form of an antidepressant known as Wellbutrin. And the FDA found the 300 milligram dose was not efficacious, and the manufacturer withdrew it from the market. You can read the FDA uh, frequently asked questions about the withdrawal here. But again, I'd like to drill down into the public perception issue, um, which is what I talked about in my blog. And what I see from the consumer standpoint is a general sense that generics are just lower priced copies of the original. They are just as good. And if you go to the FDA webpage on generics, you can even see that's what they say. So early in September, the Office of Generic Drugs was elevated so that its director and the office itself reports directly to the CEDAR director, Janet Woodcock. And I think the office may have some tough work ahead.